And let's return now to our top story, which is that the Sri Krishna Committee report has been tabled and uh, we, it will, however, be, be not made public for another week or so. Joining us to discuss that, Mr. K.T. Ramarao uh, of the Telangana Rashtra Samiti, the, the son in, uh, of uh, the, the TRS chief, Chandrasekhar Rao. We're also being joined by Abhishek Singhvi of the Congress Party. Uh, thank you both so much for, for joining us. And uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ramarao, if I can just start with you first. Step-by-step -step advancement towards statehood, that's what we seem to be getting as uh, among the options that are being listed by the Sri Krishna Committee report. Is this uh, a phase-by, step-by-step approach something that would be acceptable to your party? Well, firstly, I'd like to say that we have steadfastly maintained in the last 10 months, since the announcement from the Union Home Ministry that a committee would be constituted, that this committee is of no consequence to us. All we've said in the last 10 months is that irrespective of what the committee might say, whether or not it would recommend statehood to Telangana, the central government should live up to the promise it made to the people of Telangana on the 9th of December 2009 and introduce a bill in the parliament as soon as possible. And when I say as soon as possible, I mean in the forthcoming budget session. Nothing short of a Telangana state is acceptable to us. So you're saying no matter what the Sri Krishna Committee report says, no matter what the political parties discuss with the government in a week's time, you are going to be holding out for full statehood in a time-bound manner, and by time-bound, you mean two, three months. Absolutely. Nothing short of granting separate statehood to Telangana with Hyderabad as its capital would work for us. This is the demand of the people of Telangana. There have been numerous compromise formulae in the past as well, none of which have worked. And therefore, people of Telangana have lost faith in committees, compromise formulae and therefore nothing short of statehood to Telangana would work and we are hopeful and optimistic that the union government would live up to the promise it made to the people. Okay and you are again saying that Hyderabad has to be the capital I'm, I'm trying to figure out if there's any compromise that you're willing to make in, in order to move towards Telangana. Well I, the, the, we, Vikram, all I would like to remind you is that we are, st we are requesting reinstatement of status quo as it existed on the 31st of October 1953 when Hyderabad state was merged with Andhra state to form Andhra Pradesh. Since we are seeking a reinstatement of what had already existed, nothing short of that, I mean, no, no, uh, anything else is non-negotiable because Hyderabad was the historic cultural capital of India for the last, of, of Hyderabad state for the last 400 years. Therefore, to imagine a Telangana state without Hyderabad is not possible and therefore it's non-negotiable. Abhishek Singhvi, is this going to become a hot potato for the, for the government? Uh, now that the report has come and it, it's, it's possible that the report doesn't actually say this is what you need to do. It might have a, a menu of options which then really puts the ball back into your court. Is this going to become a political hot potato for you? Vikram, let me start by saying that uh, a lot of what I'm going to say might sound like banalities and generalize, generalizations for the simple reason that we are trying to give judgment before a judgment. I don't think either I nor you nor the third speaker or anybody else has a copy of the report. To be able to speculate on it with any degree of specificity would be impossible. So we are really and where and we just, were. And Abhishek, just to make it very clear, we're not, two, we're not asking you to speculate. We're not asking you to speculate on what me, the contents me, of the report are. We shouldn't do that. No, 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 no. I'm not on that. I'm not. I'm saying without knowing the report, even the responses cannot be meaningful because it is the report for which, uh, on which a lot of questions, which include questions of if, when, how, etc., depend. Secondly, I wish uh, uh, others were also in the happy position of giving judgment as my friend has given, Mr. Rao has given. Uh, unfortunately or fortunately, rightly or wrongly, there are other stakeholders, there are other parties, it is neither him alone, and there is a whole assembly, there is a central government, so there are many, many facets, and it's a very complex issue. Yeah. All I can say is that the Congress party has repeatedly, not now, but for many years said, we are certainly not against smaller states, but if, when, how of Telangana has lots of issues, and we cannot give any verdict before a verdict in the same way Mr. Rao has given. There are complex issues that in the event the Telangana is to be given, what is its contours, then there is the issue of Hyderabad. If it is not to be given, what are the other alternatives, etc., etc.